hey friends welcome back so this is another series of our ai application so in this series we will be talking about uh, basically assemble techniques like uh, what are all the techniques that we have and we will see examples uh, to get into depth of these techniques so here we have the first uh, example that is on decision tree right so basically uh, here we are going to build a model that predicts if someone who seeks a loan right might be defaulter or not defaulter so we have several independence variable in our data set like checking account balance credit history purpose loan amount etc so let's get start with the uh, step by step first thing we are importing pandas uh, as pd again pandas to work with our data frame rights and then we are importing the credit csb i hope you remember that we have used the same csb many times right with different different uh, ai techniques so here as well i will also provide the link in the description also so first thing we are getting the top 10 of our credit csb so here you can see that how our csb or the data frame looks like so we have checking balance month loan duration credit history purpose right for purpose of that amount saving balance right employee duration percent uh, of income years of residence now checking the shape of data so basically we have 1000 uh, by 17 that means 1000 row and 17 columns or 17 attributes now it is asking that generate a descriptive statistics so again we simply use describe function so which will return all the uh, interquartile ranges minimum maximum right standard deviation count and so on so uh, here you can see that many columns are type of object so how we can get that so here you can see that if you check a credit data dot info so it will return that you can see many of them are object many of them are uh, integer right so we need to convert this into ordinal data first so how i'll do that so uh, let's convert the column with an object data type into categorical variable so we normally use pd dot category here so yeah first thing you can see that here we are looping through all columns in the data frame right in this step secondly we are checking that for only objects so that means only apply for columns with categorical strings okay then credit data dot feature equals to pd dot categorical credit feature so it will replace all string with an integers next time you can see that uh, the top 10 right and uh, if again you can uh, you want to see the object or the data type again you can just normally write credit data dot info function here now getting the value of uh, every count in the columns right so we are printing credit data dot checking balance value counts and so on so forth for all the columns count that we want so here you can see that for unknown we have uh, these value 274 then these value 269 then these value 63 similarly for uh, checking balance we have good critical poor very good perfect then in credit history we have car business education renovations right car zero and so on so forth this is the description now we have to actually uh, replace our data like we have to restructure our data so what we are doing here we are defining a dictionary that is replace structure here we are uh, the key is like checking balance so here we have one key that uh, the value is one then second key that the value is two then the third key that the value is three and then the fourth key that the value is minus one so here what we are doing is we are getting all the values in our checking balance and providing them uh, some distinct number like one two three if the value is unknown so we are denoting it as minus one similarly it goes with credit history critical one poor two good three very good four perfect five then saving balance write this one for one two three four five right and so on so forth we are doing with every columns and uh, then we are defining our uh, one hot columns right so one hot columns so we are defining them purpose housing other credit and job so what will happen here we are uh, telling that okay in credit data credit dot replace then replace structure so all the data will be restructured just by this line right 
and credit data equals to get data dummies so here we are getting the dummies credit data columns equals to one hot call so in this this time the column are defined by one hot columns right so these are the one hot columns that we have and credit data dot head so here you can see that checking balance month duration credit amount balance right so on so forth and all the columns that we have are listed here so here you can see that the data is now at least or structured so we can clearly work with our data because we have defined all the values for these keys right now printing the uh, concise summary of data frame so again what we will do is we will just write credit data dot info which will return all the information of our data set so here you can see we are getting all the columns so this time our all the columns these are as you can see int 34 and these are as our u int 8 right both are of integer type now splitting the data so x equals to credit data dot drop default so that means x will contain all the attributes expect accepted default and y will contain only default variable importing train test split for model selection so x train x test y train y test train test split x y test size test size here you can see that it will be uh, 30 percent rest 70 percent will be our train size random state is as integer now building decision tree model so the start building a decision tree section start from here so we will build our model using decision tree classifier function using uh, default guinea right so this is nothing but create a criteria to uh, split our data so other option include like entropy we are uh, we can also use that here right criterion so here i'm importing decision tree classifier d3 equals to decision tree classifier criterion is zini random state is one and d3 dot fit that function is getting called x train in y train so here you can see decision tree classifier so our model is built here right now we are scoring our decision tree so printing d3 dot score passing x train y train similarly d3 dot score x test y test basically it is 100 percent of the uh, train data now visualizing the decision tree here importing export graph which for visualizing it right so uh, train character label no and yes to credit tree files that we have credit tree uh, dot dot so i'll also provide the same link in the description as well dot data equals to export graph which so here i'm passing d3 out file equals to credit tree file features name are here class names are here and credit tree are here so tree dot export a graph which output is a dot file this is a text file that describe a graph structure using a uh, specific structures right you can uh, plot this by using pasting the content of the file at this url or generate a image file using a dot command this will only work if you have graph which install in your machine right so here let's see how uh, the next thing works so importing system from os importing image from ipython dot display right so again yes it will work only if dot command works on your machine so as my machine it is working fine so you can see here uh, red code that is system you can directly import is dot tpng credit tree dot right so i'm just passing the same thing again credit tree it will convert it into a png now ret code if greater than zero then print a system command returning error right but in our case it will uh, less than zero that means uh, the display image will be our credit card so here you can see that how the decision tree is worked here and how it has designed a decision tree for it so if i zoom it out uh wait yeah so half of the portion yeah you can see here uh where is our root node so yeah checking balance that is less than equals to 0, 0.0 zini equals to 0, 0.425 sample equals to 700 value that we have and class nu so if it is true so it will go like this right and if it is false so it will go like this similarly uh, the branch will uh, be expanding further right so you can see that what happened in the true case what happened in the false case right 
सो इफ ग्राफ इज डजेंट वर्क वी कैन यूज प्लॉट ट्री या दिस इज अनदर मैथड सो वी कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम एसकेल एन डॉट ट्री प्लॉट ट्री सो सिमिलरली लिस्ट एक्सट्रेन नो यस वी आर पासिंग फिगर ऑफ फिगर एंड एक्सेस पी एल टी डॉट सब प्लॉट एंड रोज वन एंड कॉल वन फिक्स साइज फोर बाई फोर डी पी आई इक्वल्स थ्री हंड्रेड प्लॉट ट्री इक्वल टू डी ट्री फीचर नेम्स एफ एन क्लास नेम सी एन फील्ड इक्वल्स टू ट्रू एंड अगेन सेविंग द फिगर सो एज ट्री डॉट पी एन जी सो अगेन यू कैन सी हियर वी गॉट द सेम थिंग बट दिस टाइम इट इज़ इन पी एन जी फॉर्मैट एंड इट इज़ मोर कलरफुल राइट Now reducing overfitting and regularization. So D tree equals to decision tree classifier. Criterion equals to again Zini. Max depth equals to three. Random state equals to one. So Z tree R dot fit function we are calling X train and Y train. Printing D tree R dot score. So X train and Y train. And again printing D tree dot R score for X test and Y test. So this time you can see that we got. ट्रेन एक्यूरेसी एज सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड टेस्ट एक्यूरेसी एज सेवेंटी फोर परसेंट नाउ ट्रेन कैरेक्टर लेवल दैट इज नो यस सो क्रेडिट ट्री फाइल आर सो दिस टाइम वी आर ओपनिंग इथ विथ राइट ऑपरेशन डॉट डेटा एक्सपोर्ट ग्राफ इज डी ट्री अगेन वी आर डूइंग द सेम थिंग दैट वी हैव डन एलियर राइट But this time we are doing it after regular regularization or reducing the overfitting. So here you can see that the even the size of our uh, graph or the tree is already reduced, right? So this time that means it is much accurate than the last one. Checking balance again the same condition that is if it is true uh, come here, if it is false come here, and these are nothing but the leaf node uh, that provide the final predictions, right? Zini. Uh, if it is three zero point three three two, that means thirty three percent sample. It is taking thirty eight value thirty eight and class is no right. In case of forty four percent of guinea right sample equals to nine. It has taken value three six class is yes. So so on so forth. It has done for. With a few samples, right? Now, if graph is doesn't work again in the same case, if it is not working in your machine, then you can uh, write this code. So this will return you the graph here, right? So uh, next thing, importance of feature in the tree building. The importance of feature is computed as the normalized total reduction of the criterion brought by the feature, right? So it is also known as Gini importance. Okay, and print pd dot data frame d three dot feature importance uh, columns that we are uh, we have the that imp index equals to x train dot column. So here you can see that the importance that uh, we got right feature importance you can see for checking balance forty nine percent month loan duration sixteen percent so on so forth and here job skill it is zero percent right. and the finally let's print uh, the confusion matrix for it so again importing confusion matrix c born sns printing d3 dot score x test y test y predict equals to d3 r dot predict x test cm equals to confusion matrix y test y predict correct eh? then label equals to 0 1 now df cm equals to d pd dot data frame right cm index that we are taking from i for i in no and yes and column is again also for i for i in no and yes now plt figure equals to figure size that we are passing 7 into 5 sns dot heat map df cm annotate we are passing true fmt is g so here you can see that the uh, y uh, the score or the d3 score we can say that is 74% and finally you can see the confusion matrix based on the final prediction that we got into our d3 r that is nothing but 74% of the accuracy so yeah this was all about the decision tree which is uh, used basically for both classification and regression problem or we can say is a supervised learning approach right so we'll come up with few more examples and uh, we'll see some case study also so hope this will help you to get the slide idea how the decision tree gets framed right so thanks for being with us stay tuned all the best